Alright, so this is a part two because I accidentally hit the button and stopped it. But um, right here, this is a GPU tweak. Now, GPU tweak is a program by Asus, and pretty much it's the um, it's like the best way to go about overclocking your graphics card because it reads what graphics card you have and then tells you what the max overclock should be. So this is the gaming clock speed, and like you'll see in a second when I hit power save, boom, drops down to a thousand. Drops the fan speed down, and it's going to leave the memory clock. Memory clocks should stay the same. Um, it shouldn't really change too much. But it will change. It'll make the changes in Catalyst automatically from this program. So that's the nice part. Um, I usually leave it in gaming just because it will read, like I said, the max clock speed um, for the, the card and what the card will like stop at. Um, so what I'll do is I'll open up Catalyst for you really quickly just so you can see what it actually says is the max. Um, going into AMD Overdrive, here we go. Alright, so basically the power limit settings, it's at plus 10%. Um, the GPU clock setting is at 1070. And the um, high performance memory clock setting is at 1420. So that's pretty much where it wants to be um, you know that's what this program is actually saying my card is capable of um, so I mean pretty much that's as good as it's gonna get <laughs> and if you click on this it'll pull up GPU Z um, GPU Z again is another way of reading your card and over here it'll tell you what it's running at, uh, the GPU clock, what it's running at, the default clock, what that's going to be. And then um, pretty much it, it only bumps it up like 20 on each. So, I mean, ultimately that's that's the R9 270 card that's working right now. Um, other thing I do suggest running when you do, uh, if you do get this motherboard that I have, the Crossplay Ranger, definitely run System, uh, system Suite 3. And definitely go with the five-way optimization up here. All you do is click it. You'll select the fan, so like it'll automatically select the CPU fan. Then you just click where your fans are. So for instance, like my chassis one is my back fan, my chassis two is my uh, front fan. It's an intake fan, and then my chassis three is also a front fan intake fan. And then definitely do the overclock settings, uh, advanced settings. <laughs> So like you can do extreme tuning or you can do fast tuning. Either way you get basically the same clock settings. Um, it's really not going to change very much. You, you, I mean you can set a certain frequency that you want the CPU to go to but it's only going to go as high as it can go and then it's going to just blip out the screen and once it's done it's done. Um, you can run a CPU bench or a fan benchmark. Uh, you know it doesn't necessarily have to do it. It does it anyway. So it's really not necessary, but I mean, after you run this program, that's when you're going to see the boost. Um, and like I said, I'm at 4.5 gigahertz right now. Um, so this computer, like I said, it, it's taken a lot of different turns. Um, I definitely like it a lot. Like I said, it's a fast computer. Uh, it runs games almost flawlessly. I'll actually even just boot up Terra for you really quickly, um, which is a game that uses a lot of processing. <clears throat> uses the GPU rather pretty well, I should say. <laughs> um, but I'll boot this up for you really quickly, just so you can see you know, how well as the graphics are. But, like I said, this game, when I... Uh, when I first got it and I first started playing it, uh, it was pretty much awful. <laughs> uh, as much as I did enjoy playing this game, like I said, it, it's, it's an open world MMO and you get to like just basically go do whatever you want. You can just sit and farm, you can you know do whatever. Um, and I'm sure a couple of you guys will make fun of me for playing this game. But um, it's a pretty interesting game to say the least I enjoy it um, but you get like a little CPU hang right there and that's pretty much it after that once it gets into game mode it's go time <laughs> ok 
keep switching hands left and right, but um, I'll just walk my character around a little bit just so you can see. This out of the way. So, just to show you, I mean, I'm just going to walk them around. I mean, the graphics are pretty much all turned up almost all the way. Um, let's see if I can turn that over. Take a look at that for you. Options, video. So you can see right here. Uh, effects level is 5. That's as high as it can go. That's as high as it can go. As high as it can go, as high as it can go. <laughs> so, I mean, pretty much everything on this game is turned up as high as it can go, except the brightness. <laughs> so, um, and like I said, I mean, it, it's pretty much flawless when I'm playing. There's no, like, hang or anything like that. It doesn't, you know, glitch out. It's just an all-in-all smooth game to play, and like I said, it, it it does, you know, use quite a bit of graphics because when I had the uh, original motherboard, the original CPU, everything running, you know, at 1333, the, even the card, even, oh, like the CPU overclocked to uh, 4.3 with the 660 and this card that I currently have, uh, I was only getting, like, maybe, <laughs> if I'm lucky, 28 frames per second on this game. Um, I don't know how to check the frames per second on this one now, but I'm sure it's a lot higher than it was. Um, it looks like I got a reward. I gotta go to the banker. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go enjoy my game, upload this video, or upload the two videos for you, part one and part two of this. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, it will answer as best as I can. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video.